Recording. Okay, so here I am on the road, first time using my camera. Wow, that was a big bump. This is my Saturday morning, afternoon wind therapy. I went down to Fort Thunder Harley Davidson. No, I don't own a Harley Davidson. But they had the blessing of the bikes. So I was able to get my bike blessed pretty cool but it's hotter than hell out here and on that parking lot I swear it must have been 150 degrees I was thanking God that she was finished so I could get back on the bike and get some wind to cool me down so then I stopped off at uh, I went down to Norman stopped off at uh, Sooner Indian motorcycles in Norman. That's where I bought my my bobber. Talked to Josh down there, really nice guy. I'm still a new rider. But God, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to shut up and ride. So yeah, stoplights have got to be the worst, especially in July in Oklahoma. You can see we've got some scattered clouds around. And there's a little forecast for rain, but I don't have much hope for rain today. And that's kind of good. I haven't ridden in the rain yet. I've got no idea how this camera function works. I have a little bit of an idea. But this is my first time to actually try it. Hell, I'm not even sure if the thing is on or not. I'll find out soon enough. I could stand to use a little shade. A little cloud cover would be nice without the rain. But I'm not so sure that's going to happen. So I'm on my way back home from Norman to Edmond. And uh, I think once I get home, I'm going to take a dip in the pool. Cool off a little bit.
love how that thing sounds going under bridges and tunnels, that kind of thing. Okay, a little bit about my bike. It's, it's 2021 Indian Scout Bobber 20. I've been looking for a bike for a while. Ever since I got my um, my MSF class completed, and actually before that, I've been looking for bikes. They're in short supply now, new ones anyway, with COVID backlog on um, well, just about everything under the sun, delays. that's the life we live in right now but anyway so I was uh, looking online I do every night it seems like I was looking for bikes and um, I've been looking at a lot of Harley Davidson's a lot of Indians I do like the soft tail slim and I also like the scout bobbers about eight years ago I was uh, very close to buying a motorcycle, but I changed my mind at the last minute, bought a car instead. I wish I would have not done that. I wish I would have bought this motorcycle or a motorcycle a long time ago. It's definitely a bucket list thing. So one night, a couple days after I finished my uh, MSF class I was looking through the websites checking the dealer inventory everywhere and lo and behold at Sooner Indian Motorcycles in Norman Oklahoma I saw this 2021 Scout Bobber 20 it's stealth gray uh, it was beautiful it's one of those things that it just kind of catches you. So that was on a Friday night. I knew I had to go down and take a look. So Trish and I got in the got in the car, drove down to Norman, walked in the showroom. This bike was right there on the floor and it spoke to me. So I went and slung a leg over it, sat down, perfect fit. I remember one of the, the wisest things that uh, my riding coach told me was whatever bike I get, be sure to make sure it's a good fit. Well, this one fit me perfectly. Like I said, it also spoke to me. The people down at Sooner Indian were very nice. We felt very comfortable when we walked into the dealership. Almost like it was home. We were greeted and treated with respect. So it made the purchase that much easier. So we haggled a little bit. We've got some add-ons on the bike. I'll try to do a video on that to talk about how the the bike is equipped but some of the things that we've added we've added a uh, LED headlight which is really fantastic by the way I haven't ridden much at night but uh, I have ridden at dusk don't really need the, the headlight to see it's more to be seen that time of day but I have turned it on in my driveway at night. And let me tell you something, it is really, really effective, really bright. So I'm glad, glad we got that put on there. Some of the other additions that put on the bike are, we 
got some of the, the floorboards. Don't know if you can see those or not. So we got the floorboards, and man, they are really comfortable. I, I heard about these, you know, I'd sat on some bikes with them, was never really sure if that was going to be for me. But, but boy, after, uh, after riding with these floorboards, man, they make everything just so much more comfortable. I'm in unfamiliar territory. I don't know how rough they are. That one wasn't too bad. So I'm slowing down to take, take it easy when I can. Let's ride. Really curious about how the uh, wind noise, bike noise, all the other noise is going to come through on this camera. It's a Senna 10C Evo. And it was a relatively simple setup and that's what I was interested in. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. So I hooked the thing up on my helmet last night. Tinkered with it just a little. kind of got a little bit of a feel for how the, some of the functions work. Well, really just basically how to turn the thing on. And uh, so I'm hoping the thing is on. That's a landfill over there, I believe. You know, I've lived in Oklahoma City since 1970. And I've never seen this part of town. Let me tell you, I like the ride through this area. It's far eastern Oklahoma County, which is in the middle of Oklahoma. Oklahoma County contains Oklahoma City, Moore, Norman, Edmond. And they call it our metro area. Oklahoma City is, is rather... Oklahoma City is uh, very spread out. got a blind one here. Well, I'm patient. I don't have anywhere to be right now, except for home in the pool cooling off. I can wait a few minutes. Canadian River.
wind today. For those of you who don't know, I live in Oklahoma, and yes, it is where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. while to go anywhere and you know Oklahoma City is so spread out that um, continue on Northeast 63rd Street for two miles it does it takes a while to get anywhere but the good news is that uh, oh I had a little had a little moment there with my right turn good news is it's normally a just a nice ride uh, it's, it's, you can see it's pretty rural through here there's not a ton of traffic but it's just pretty I like open spaces I like fresh air and I like the big beautiful Oklahoma sky pretty flat around here. We don't have really any mountains in Oklahoma. So any scenery that uh, has some elevation change, twisties are almost impossible to come by around here. But we're gonna we're gonna try to find some. about this bike. I'm not a good person to compare it with anything since this is my first bike. Well, I take that back. I can compare it to... I can compare it to... Uh, well, it was a moped my mom got me uh, Christmas back when I was uh, just turned a teenager. So I rode that thing all over Northwest... all over Northwest Oklahoma City until I was 16 and got my driver's license. Continue on North Midwest Boulevard for five miles. I had the 500 mile service done on this bike the other day and the, the clutch is still a little weird. So he did do a clutch adjustment. So it's taken me a little time to get used to that clutch. So I can't really compare this bike with anything because this is really uh, the only bike that I've, uh, real bike that I've ever owned. Uh, 
uh, when I was small, I rode a buddy's YZ80 dirt bike when I was a little bitty kid. And then I rode that moped for three or four years till I got my uh, my car driver's license. And then of course that that thing just sat and collected dust, so my dad sold it. But everything I read about these bikes, it sounded like it was going to be something that would be a good fit for me. And I got to tell you, now that I've uh, now that I've got it, I got to tell you, it's 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 very comfortable. Here's a twisty. Woohoo! God, that's fun. I want to find more of those faster ones. So it's really comfortable. You know, I've read a lot of reviews. Uh, new bikers, should they buy a Scout or should they buy something uh, a little bit uh, smaller? You know, like a 250 or a 500. I did my motorcycle uh, safety training at Harley-Davidson World in Oklahoma City on Reno Avenue. Great bunch of people, by the way. The coach was excellent. The staff there was uh, far different than uh, one of the other dealerships in town that I'm not going to name. They were very high pressure. Uh, Harley. Harley Davidson world people, uh, not so. You know, if, when I bought this bike, I was also looking at Harley Davidson. Like I said, the soft tail slim was, was something that I really liked. Can't really compare it to this bike, but. Uh, I was told about this one. Well, it's things I read. You know, the reviews were mixed on whether or not a new rider should even attempt one of these. But I gotta tell you, nothing to be afraid of. Anybody new out there, if you don't get nutso with the throttle, do something stupid. Just take things easy. Learn at your own pace. You'll be just fine. I think I got all of the, uh, the wild hair shit out of my system back when I was in high school. Not as crazy as I used to be. I also did a few stints as a uh, amateur road racer and cars. So. Uh, I think this is one of the reasons, you know, I gave that up several years ago. And I think this is one of the reasons why, uh, why I got the, a bike. I miss the adrenaline. Something uh, a little addictive about the uh, adrenaline rush. Something about being exposed, being in control, and just having fun. Let's try. actually was another uh, dream of mine back when I was a small kid. I wanted to be in the Air Force and fly jets. Well, that never happened. So for me, this is the best thing next. Okay, 
back to some of the other add-ons on this bike. Uh, I talked about the LED headlight, which is very cool. The floorboards, which are very comfortable. Also put a, uh, some highway crash bars on the thing. Not knowing if uh, my inexperience would lead me to drop the bike. I definitely didn't want to do huge amounts of damage to a brand new bike. got the uh, the highway crash bars on there. Fortunately, I have not dropped this bike. Knock on wood. God, that sounds cool. Which brings me to the other add-on that we have. Take the next right onto Northeast 136th Street, East Memorial Road. We've got, uh, we put on the um, Bassani slip-on exhaust, which sounds really cool. I think just about everybody does does exhaust when they first get a bike. Continue on Northeast 136th Street for two miles. Or at least when they get one of these, a V-twin. The factory chokes them down so much where they, they just don't sound very good with the stock exhaust. So I think that's probably on... Uh, high on everybody's bucket list who, who generally buys a bike like this. So it was definitely on mine. So the pipes sound really cool. They're not uh, they're not really piss off your your neighbors loud. They're not really uh, scary old ladies and young children loud. They have a great note. They sound cool. Here's another little twisty. Just not sure about traffic in this area. More stop signs that come right up on you. Oh, I gotta go right here. I forgot about that. My GPS is not the the best right here. Head east on North Douglas Boulevard toward Eagle Landing. Eagles Landing. Continue for two miles. Continue on Northeast 136th Street for one mile. That GPS does not do a good service right there at that intersection. Fortunately, I know where I'm going. So yeah, I'm digging the exhaust. riding pretty much every day, at least a few miles, and uh, I want to keep my skills sharp, but more importantly, I just want to get better, and the only way to do that is uh, practice, so this trip down to uh, Moore and Norman today was some really great practice. Driven in all kinds of uh, traffic situations, open roads, with heavy city traffic. So it's been a great ride today. I will be honest with you, my ass is getting a little bit sore from this seat. It is not a soft tail. It is not. The next left on North Post Road. Continue on North Post Road for three miles. My goodness, I've got some raindrops. Uh, this is my first rain. 
I'm pretty close to home. I'm about five or six miles from the house. So it does look like it's going to be a lot of rain. Just a few drops on my visor. But I will tell you this. Any, any moisture on the ground does have potential to reduce traction. So just because there's a little bit of rain doesn't mean that road conditions are excellent. Raindrops keep falling on my head. this intersection and on. Ooh, there's a good bump. Yeah, you can see the clouds building up there a little bit. There's our good old Edmund water tower coming up on uh, Lake Arcadia, which is the uh, primary water supply for Edmond, Oklahoma. Man-made reservoir. We used to fish out there back when I had boats. I miss boats. They're almost as much fun as this. My left is the uh, walking trail they put around the lake. It's uh, one of the, the, the stop-off points where you can park your car and you can go walk. You can walk almost, oh, it's several miles around the perimeter of this lake. Unfortunately, we can't really get much of a water view, but you can see the dam over there to the left. So it's been a great ride. Getting close to home. Oh, water treatment. So I'm just going to shut up and finish my ride.